Hello, my name is David Swafford, and this is my capstone project presentation. So a brief overview, we'll talk about our weather forecast, what our one nav minimums are, what our two nav minimums are, uh, if we are legal to flag to this alternate, and uh, what, uh, would our lowest legal uh, minimum be if no notum existed? So to start off with, our weather forecast, uh, forecasted weather at uh, Baton Rouge from the scenario is uh, temporary from uh, 1800 to 2100 on the 12th. We'll have one statute mile visibility with thunderstorms and rain in the area. Our ceiling is uh, broken at 500 and scattered at 2000 with cu cumulonimbus clouds. So what are our one nav minimums? Uh, well, to start, we determine our one nav minimums by using the table found in our flight operations manual, section four, uh, page one dot point seven. So our one nav minimums, we have to add 400 feet to our minimum decision altitude, our minimum descent altitude or our decision altitude and one statute mile visibility to our minimums. So by looking at our Jefferson charts, our lowest possible approach is the ILS localizer for runway 13. Uh, the chart states that the MDA is 410 feet and visibility is three quarters of statute mile. So using the one av minimum, uh, uh, using our one av method, our decision altitude is now going to be 810 feet and visibility will be one and three quarter miles. Moving to our two nav minimums. Uh, first, for the two nav minimums, the airport must have two suitable runways and two separate approaches based on two separate nav aids, transmitters, and antennas. Uh, and again, that comes from our flight operations manual and from uh, FAR 121. So uh, we also determine our two and a half minimums by using the table in our flight operations manual 4-1.7. For this, we are going to add 200 feet and half statute mile visibility to our minimums. And then we're going to select the highest of the two minimums, uh, the highest visibility of the, our two minimums. So our lowest possible approaches, again, it's going to be the ILS localizer, 1-3. And uh, by doing our calculations, that decision altitude is going to be 610 feet. And we need one and one quarter statute mile visibility. And then our VOR DME 22 right, which is a separate runway and a separate approach, and it's a different nav aid and transmitter. Uh, and that's gonna be at 610 feet and one and three quarter statute miles visibility. So what does that mean? It means we can go down to 610 feet and we must have one and three quarter statute mile visibility based off of the table and uh, the FOM. So, are we legal? No, the alternate is not legal. The weather, again, is forecasted to be below our minimums. And to review, our forecasted weather is temporarily on the 12th from 1800 to the 12th at 2100. We have one statute mile visibility, thunderstorms with rain, with rain broken clouds at 500 feet, and scattered clouds at 2,000 feet that are cumulonimbus. So neither our one nav or two nav will take us down to 500 feet, which is the lowest ceiling, and the visibility will be less than one and three quarter statute miles as required. There's also forecasted to be severe weather and our operation, the operations manual 4-6.3 states that every effort will be made to avoid thunderstorms and takeoff and landings are prohibited with thunderstorms immediately approaching or directly overhead or on takeoff or the final approach flight path. So since uh, the forecast is stated to have thunderstorms, 
we cannot legally use this alternate, both because of the weather and because of the severe weather. So, what if no notum existed? Well, we could use it as an alternate. RNAV-13 has an LPV approach with a decision altitude of 200 feet and visibility of a half statute mile, and RNAV-22 also has a different LPV approach with a decision altitude of 200 feet with visibility one half statute mile. So it's two separate approaches, two separate runways. Uh, so um, these are legal. We can use these for our RNAV2 and um, our, visibil our minimums and visibility are uh, good to go. And using the, R the two nav method, we can go down to 400, foots, 400 feet and one statute, mile, one statute mile of visibility, which is in our forecasted weather. Remember, our ceiling for our forecast is 500 feet. By using the two nav method, we could go down to 400 feet, which is below our forecasted weather, and we still have one statute mile, which is in our forecasted weather. The biggest issue is that the thunderstorms may be present, in which case we still can use the alternate. Um, and we could find out if there's thunderstorms present by listening to the weather or by contacting dispatch uh, to get a weather update. We can find out if the thunderstorms are occurring um, during that time. Uh, and that's after we've taken off while we're um, getting close and figuring out if we need to divert to this alternate or not. Uh, so if we had to divert and the, there weren't any thunderstorms occurring or happening right when we were getting there, we could definitely use the approach or the alternate. Um, but again, the main thing is if there's thunderstorms present, we can't use it according to the FOM. So in conclusion, we talked about our weather forecast, one nav minimums, two nav minimums. We discussed if we're legal and what if no notum existed. So thank you to ForeFlight. Uh, they have Jefferson charts on there. And uh, I found the uh, RNAV minimums using my personal account uh, to access my Jefferson charts that I have on there. And Liberty University for providing us with our flight operations manual. Uh, thank you for watching my presentation.